Our second fiddle retreat concert features the Irish music of Brian Conway and Sam Sweeney in the second set from the, be- from the English band Bellowhead and Leveret. We hope you will enjoy it. Greetings everybody from my backyard here in White Plains. It's, what is it, November 7th? And uh, we're going to be performing a, a, a few sets of tunes. Um, it's great to be invited back to the Upper Potomac Fiddle Retreat. Thank you so much, Joni Blanton, for uh, the invitation. I'm here with my good friend and guitar genius, John Walsh. Um, thank you so much for, for participating. I'm, many of you know who John is. I would say the one and only John Walsh, but that would not be true. Thanks, there are at least three others in Irish music by the same name, at least three. All right, so we'll start with a set of jigs, the Monaghan jig and um, uh, ships in full sail. Thank you. 
great to play with you again, John. Yeah, thank you. It's uh, opportunities to, to get together and play music have been few and far between since this horrible pandemic hit us. John and I were reckoning that the last time we played together was in January. We had some um, gigs lined up in March, and then it all hit. And John spends half his time now in Ireland, so I'm very, very lucky to have him in town for this uh, right now. All right, so those were two jigs. Um, those of you familiar with me know that I learned a lot of my music from uh, the Sligo fiddle players who came to New York, uh, Coleman being the most prominent, but uh, my teacher Martin Wynn was from the same part of Ireland. Actually learned from Coleman's teacher, Phil O'Byrne, uh, and I got a chance to, to meet Loud O'Byrne a few times. Um, but another huge influence on my playing was the great Andy McGann. Like, like John and myself, Andy was born and raised in New York. Um, and uh, Andy was a student of Michael Coleman. So growing up in the Bronx, I was just happened to be very fortunate to learn from from two different direct sources to that Sligo music through my teacher Martin Wynn and, and then Andy again. So I, I'll never forget the first time I had a chance to sit in a session and play with Andy. It was back in uh, 1973 in my friend Dave Collins' living room. And uh, that night Andy played this next tune, The Banks. I didn't know it at that point. Uh, but I was enthralled with the uh, band began playing, and I set about to learn this tune. I learned a little bit more about it since. It's a uh, tune that was written by Scott Skinner, who was to uh, Scottish music with Michael Coleman, who was to uh, Irish music. And Scott Skinner actually predated uh, Coleman by a few years, and he recorded this tune on an old wax cylinder. So it, it's, uh, it's supposedly written by Scott Skinner. It uh, was recorded by many people in the Irish music scene, including Andy McGann, myself, uh, Sean McGuire, to go on and on. So, uh, delighted to be able to play this with uh, John. The thanks. <laughs> Thank you. 
thank you, thank you. Let's do the uh, hop jig set again. So there's a set of slip jigs, old time slip jigs, referred to as hop jigs. I have no idea why they are called hop jigs, but they're faster. Um, they are uh, a dance form that was danced historically by men and women, as far as I know. Um, the slip jig, which is the current form of these tunes, is danced exclusively by women. Um, so the first one is a tune called The Fox Hunter, and, you'll, and those of you who play the Fox Hunter slip jig will recognize hints of the Fox Hunter in this hop jig version of it. The second one is a tune called The Boys of Balsader, and I uh, learned, learned this from Mark Wynn. And the third tune is a tune called Comb Your Hair and Curl It. The first and third of these were recorded by Michael Coleman, and I recorded these as well and, and played them in this order. So we are recording this here in my backyard uh, on probably the most beautiful day of the fall, but it's getting hot back here, so it's it's putting our instruments out of tune a little bit. But we're making the best of it because it is an absolutely gorgeous day. And we've had a reprieve from the leaf blowers for a little while, so we're taking advantage of that as well. <laughs> what are we, which ones? The hop jigs. Comb your, the fox hunter, ride a mile, and comb your hair and curl it. Okay. play one more set of tunes. I like to call this set the Lord's Set because the first tune is called Lord McDonald's and the second one is called Lord Gordon's. And these are, are two more hardcore Sligo tunes. The first one was one of my teacher Mark Lynn's favorite tunes. So once again, thank you John Walsh Thanks for, for joining me and Joey Lanton for asking us to participate this year. Um, I think it's wonderful that 
uh, folks are adapting to these very strange times and keeping the music going. Obviously, live music is better, but if we can't do live music, this is certainly a very good second substitute. Can we call it on live? <laughs> it's better than being undead. <laughs> Sam Sweeney 
here. Um, thank you so much for having me. Um, it's so cool to be able to, in these bizarre times, do things uh, that we wouldn't normally be able to do. Um, and this is my this is my second uh, teaching experience in the United States uh, since this pandemic has has uh, has started. And it's so lovely, genuinely lovely, to be able uh, to share music with all of you. Uh, thousands of miles away from the comfort of my attic in Stroud uh, in England. Um, so yeah, thank you for having me. Um, it's a real honour to be part of such a such a cool event with such an incredible uh, teaching lineup. Crikey! Um, so I'll just play you some tunes. Um, I'll play you. Uh, I'll play you a couple of tunes. These two are Morris dance tunes. Um, probably my, I guess, some of my favourite Morris tunes at the minute. Um, so I'll play a tune uh, called The Maid of the Mill. And The Maid of the Mill is a, a traditional English Morris dance tune that I learned um, to play for Boss Morris. Boss Morris are a fantastic Morris team from Stroud, where I live. Uh, I've played for them a couple of times. Um, and also this tune, Maid of the Mill, is on my new record, which... Uh, which is out now, it's called Unearth Repeat, and you can get it from my website if you want, um, which is www.samsweeneymusic.com. Anyway, enough of that, enough of plugging. Um, so yeah, I'll play the Maid of the Mill, and then I'll go into another tune that I learned to play for Boss Morris um, last summer, and it's a tune called uh, The Upton on Seven Stick Dance. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Um, what a lovely pair of tunes. Cool. Um, so I'll I'll finish off <laughs> uh, with a couple more tunes. Um, I'll play uh, a couple of things. The first one is a really great tune. Um, I found it in this great book of English tunes that I I go to a lot. And in fact, my trio Leverett, we we play a lot of tunes from this book. Um, it's a book called John of the Green, The Cheshire Way. Um, if you haven't got that book, and if you're into the idea of looking more into English music, it's a, a fantastic, fantastic thing to own. Anyway, right near the back of the of this tune book is a, a tune called The Northern Lass. So I'll play you that, and then I'll go into... I think this the second tune is also from this book. I'm 99% sure it is. Um, I should have really looked that up, <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure it is. And it's a tune called Booth's Hornpipe. Um, and it's a tune that holds a very special place in my heart, I guess, um, because it was the first tune that I ever taught to the National Youth Folk Ensemble, which is a wonderful thing here in England. Um, it's in its fifth year at the minute. Uh, it was set up five years ago to bring together the best uh, 14 to 18 year old folk musicians um, for a year of residential courses, concerts, um, festivals and stuff like that. So I did that for three years, but this, this tune, Booth's Hornpipe, was the first tune I ever taught them. So uh, it's a very special tune for me. Um, so thank you so much again. What a wicked weekend and what a lovely thing to be able to do this uh, over the internet. Um, I hope that this this kind of thing can stay after this pandemic is is done. <laughs> so yeah, here we go. The Northern Lass and Booth's Hornpipe.
Thanks very much.